Hey everyone and welcome back to Serena's Toy Room. It's been a while since I've sat down and actually talked to you guys because I've been making a lot of doll videos lately. So I thought I would do a little mail unboxing today. I ordered this a couple of days ago. It's a few box dolls and some loose dolls and clothes and stuff, which I definitely needed. And in case you're curious, I did wipe it down with a disinfectant wipe because, you know, Coronavirus! I suggest if you're buying online right now, you do the same just for cautionary measures. Right off the bat, we have our doll clothes. We will go through those in a moment. We have our loose dolls. We have this beach tree, I mean, summer from about 2015 or so, 2016. She has the molded on bodysuit. And she also came with a Teresa, Teresa and Summer. These two I plan to resell. I don't really have a use for these molded on swimsuit dolls and they're, they're not really something I actively collect. So I do plan to resell these. I'm gonna disinfect them and stuff, of course. Actually, I totally forgot. <laughs> just noticed the Teresa Beach doll has a part of her hair burn, like singed at the very end and the top layer. But it's a good thing I'm not keeping these dolls, otherwise I'd be kind of annoyed by that. So I will be setting those two aside for now. We have this beautiful Christy doll. She's super beautiful. When I was looking through my dolls for videos and stuff, it occurred to me that I really don't have many African American dolls. I mostly collect Chess Barbie, blonde Barbie. I don't really collect many of her friends. I do have a few that I've gathered over time, of course, but I don't mostly just have blonde dolls. The only African-American dolls I have is um, Swap and Styles Artsy from the Old Fashionistas, and then I have Amazing Nails Christy. But I really wanted some African-American Barbies on the 66 Twist and Turn body for videos and stuff. When I saw this doll in the lot, she was one of the major selling points, of course. Next, again, I really wanted more brunette dolls, and there was this beautiful Teresa. I assume it's Teresa. I really would like some brunette dolls with more fair skin. She has a really nice tan to her. She's quite nice. And she's wearing some clothes as well. I definitely needed clothes. Clothes is definitely something I'm low on. We have this Cali Girl Ken doll. He's super handsome. Ken dolls are definitely something I could use more of as well. And you guys know I love Ken dolls in general. So that's him. We have this Barbie. And she's super gorgeous. I love her makeup. Her nickel on hair is very matted, but nothing I can't fix. And then lastly, for the loose dolls, we have either Miko or Kira one of the two, and she has a fat head. But she still has a little bobble in her neck. Oh, it's so loud. I'm assuming she can be fixed. I hope she can be fixed. And then she has this little homemade dress. Here's the box dolls. We have Hawaii Teresa. She is from 1999. She's really pretty. Again, a major selling point for me because I would like some more brunette dolls or dolls with different hair colors for videos and such, and she is a good one. Obviously, the dolls themselves are fine. They haven't been touched since when they were packaged, but they're going to have to be wiped down, of course, before I review them on the review station so they don't touch the other dolls. I'm sure they're just fine, but you can never be too careful, of course. This doll's my favorite of the three. Valentine Wishes Barbie from 2009. She is gorgeous. I love this era of Barbie. It's super nostalgic for me because that's when I got into Barbie. These dolls were in stores. And then lastly, we have an Avon exclusive special edition Winter Velvet Barbie. I always see this doll on eBay, but I never bought her because I never really needed her. But I always thought she was super pretty. I just never bought her. But now I have her. She is quite lovely. She, I definitely do need to wash and stuff her clothes and the doll itself because obviously it's a doll that you can open up and feel. She doesn't have a protective window. I plan to do a review of all three of these box dolls, so stay tuned for those. There is also some 
loose individual shoes in a little baggie that I just noticed at the bottom of the box. But um, they're good to have in case you ever come across some matching pairs in the wild or something. <laughs> That ought to do them some good until I get around to cleaning them officially. But um, let's do a little quick overview of the clothes we got because I didn't really get too good a view of what we got. There's a lot of Ken clothes which is definitely something I need because I don't have many good ones left over. So we have this little muscle tee. We have this little denim skirt which I assume is for a fakey and there's no Barbie tag so I assume a fakey but it could be wrong. We have, oh this is a surprise, this is Rio's little undershirt from Rio from Gem and the Holograms so that's fun. We swim trunks, we have a Ken shirt, a little shirt made of a weird material, a little long sleeved t-shirt some gray pants, black jacket, which is quite nice. It looks a lot like one I have, but it's a different material. A little flannel thing. I'm pretty sure it's homemade. It doesn't look like it would be official Barbie. And then we have a little mermaid tail. Cute. A little Barbie dress. I think this is Bratz. It looks really tiny. It's like a little bodysuit. The brats are like a smaller doll of sorts. We have some burgundy pants, a white little button up, some pen swim trunks. A really pretty, oh, this is 2007 Holiday Barbie's dress without the little belt and over things. It's like a really stripped down Holiday Barbie dress. Some shorts and another pair of shorts. These ones are really big though. I definitely say this lot was worth the money that I spent. I'm not gonna say how much I spent because all of my like American viewers will think I'm crazy, but for Canada, I thought it was pretty good. And um, yeah, I'll definitely get a lot of use out of them for the brunette dolls and the Christie and even the Kira slash Miko. Even the Ken and Barbie, I'll get good use out of and I'll have fun reviewing these three. This one I think is gorgeous. And the clothes, obviously, I'll get plenty of use for because I have some dolls that are in desperate need of outfit changes. So, um, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this little video to break up all the doll videos that I've been doing, the doll shows and skits and stuff. And I have ordered a few other things off eBay, which will be coming shortly, of course. So stay tuned for those reviews and stuff. And until then, tell me to subscribe and see you in the next video. Bye, guys.